Yeah. yeah, all prepared. Jürgen, what, what did you make of the performance overall, please? It was a hard fought game, wasn't it? Thank you. Um, let me say it like that. I'm really pleased with the results. Obviously, a perfect result. I'm really pleased with a lot of aspects of the game. Um, I would call it kind of a mature performance, besides a few moments when we gave the ball away in areas where Chazza should not do it, and that's where the, when the crowd got a bit excited, I would say. Besides that, you could, if you didn't see the game, you could have heard it, because we 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 come we come to an atmosphere which was probably ready to go um, down and didn't let it really happen, which is super important. Um, and besides that, I don't want to be overly critical. I know we can play better football, but this time of the year, you play, hopefully win, recover and play again. That's it. When you talk about mature, is that is that in terms of being in control of the game, yeah. getting yeah. the job done? You, you you know you're back to within two points. Yeah, look, it would be would be extremely cool if he would have scored the second goal. <laughs> It was possible. Um, I think Mo had uh, after a corner. It was an incredible save from the goal. You have no clue how he was picking to um, get that out of the goal. Um, and other moments where we could have played better, that would be would have been great. Um, besides that, we just we just tried to create without open up too much. Um, we we had flexible movements. I liked the first half, I liked a lot, a lot of things, to be honest. But we didn't create the, the clear-cut chances. Um, but it's sometimes like that. Then you have to um, use your set pieces, defend their set pieces well, throw-ins are exceptional. Wow. Um, and really difficult to defend on top. Um, yeah. So we gave the ball away for the counter-attacks and the set pieces. These were the, the tricky moments. Well, there's no game without tricky moments if you don't put it to bed early and we didn't do that so that's our, our fault obviously but in the end when you win 2-0 it's all fine Jürgen hello um, Sheffield United came out of the blocks really quickly and you've already mentioned the atmosphere and the support they had behind them how important was getting that first goal that was super important I, I mean um, goals inside football games and it was today the same the same thing so Look, if you look at the game, um, and in football, a lot of things can happen, but if you really look at it, you only think who deserves to win that game is most one team is us. However, we, we got there. Uh, we, these boys play an, an, an extreme number of, of football games um, during that first part of the of the season already, and we will play. We, we, we go home and play on Saturday again. So that's all. It's all three. So I, I can't, and we have to get through this. So I advise it there and, and, and go into each point and say, you have to do that better, you have to do that better, and to do that better. So we have to get through this, we have to fight through this like everybody else. And that's what we will do. And um, when we get kind of a, a good feeling where results really help, then you don't feel the intensity that much. That's how it is. And uh, that what, what's uh, most important about this result tonight. Uh, so we drive home now by bus and then um, wake up, recover, wake up, recover and play. Again, that's it. You mentioned him already in the chance that you have, but Mo Salah has to wait another week for his 150th Premier League goal. Um, once again, the goal's coming from those other than the front three. How much of a strength is that of the squad and how will that serve you for the rest of the season? Uh, all offensive players are invited to score goals. All of them. Birch scored, I heard his first goal. I was a bit surprised. I thought he scored already, but maybe it was a different competition or last year. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but set pieces always um, give you a, are a massive help in, in tight games. If you do that well, they were really good today. Um, on the other hand side, we, we defended them. Their set pieces really, really good. Um, and that's the most important thing then. And then you have to, to go for the moments. Games are decided in moments. It's not about, you don't have need to have like 80% possession to win a football game. 10% are enough sometimes. You just have to do the right stuff with it. Obviously, we have much more than 10%, but that gives you more chance to make mistakes. And you could see Ibu played a fantastic game. He had, I don't know how many headers he had to do today. I thought uh, it was close to us, Chris, if they not could shoot the ball for once on the other side, that Birch can go in these challenges. Um, 
And then obviously all of a sudden he was a bit, he felt intensity, gave two balls away. Um, and then uh, was a bit tricky in these moments, but we have to get through this. And tonight we came through it um, and we will try to do it again on Saturday. How pleased were you with the fight that the midfield showed? Because you, you made a change in there by bringing Wataro in for his, I think it was on his third Premier League start. I thought he played outstanding, to be honest. Um, Dom, much, much improved, I would say. It was really there, was really aggressive, aggressive runs, stuff like this. And Maka was shamey, early. He stepped on his knee, it's a cut. So, and um, as long as the, uh, is it wound or wound? As, as long wound. as the wound. Wound, yeah. yeah as, as long as the wound was open, he just, uh, strapped it. Obviously, he, he well, had it was painful, but he could play. And then we stitched it, and then obviously it was a little bit tighter there, and he couldn't. Then he could move anymore. Now we have to see how long that will take. I hope not too long. Um, but besides that, I liked it. I liked it, and the boys who came on, and then um, in the end, um, Dom on the left wing, he can play that position as well. So he gives us all a few more options. We don't have that many in the moment, but we have a few, and we will try to use them all. Can I just ask about Joel Matip? I know that you, you said yesterday they haven't got the results from the scans. Has there been any any news on that? Yeah. It's an ACL. Okay. Ruptured. Oh, that's, uh, uh, I said, I, I, that's what I unfortunately expected from the first, second. I just, it looked like, everything looked like that. And um, yeah, very unfortunate, but that's it. Last one, Martin Hardy. Uh, Jurgen, as it stands, Aston Villa are beating Manchester City. Ar Arsenal go the 97th minute to beat Luton. Is this a title that's going to go right to the wire and how tough will it be? <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> if we win it, I hope not. So, I have no clue. Um, we will see that if somebody, if, if they, if I don't know, if they lose or whatever, if somebody would write City off, that was what would be the biggest joke. In the history of football, that really makes no sense. Um, Arsenal is obviously fighting, had a similar um, um, experience as we had a few days before. If it's really good. Anyway, you have to play the next game from the start again. It's nil-nil and not 4-3 already. And you don't score a, a late goal and can take that into the next game. So, Aston Villa is, is incredible. Um, United is there. Don't play yet maybe exactly football they, 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 whoever wants it I'm not sure the media or whatever there's some um, um, arguments but I have points like crazy so they're around um, Chelsea I'm not sure if they're coming so it's all these kind of things and you have to play them anyway who cares where they are we have to play them and they are incredibly strong the league is incredibly strong you need to you need to be lucky to get through difficult moments um, with injuries especially and um, so pff, I have no clue where this will end up well, is the potential list of winners longer than maybe the last couple of seasons? Sorry again. Is, is the list of potential winners of the Premier League longer this season than in previous seasons? Well, probably. That was in the last few years, always two, huh? uh, but uh, yeah, maybe. maybe. I, I, I'm really not interested in that. Um, to be honest, um, so as long as we are around there, um, I'm fine with that. But um, it's all so difficult and so intense, um, and all the games coming up now. So let's get through this, and then um, ask me again in April. Thank you so very, very much for checking out the video. If you enjoyed it, drop a like. Uh, the season is now well underway. If you need extra Red Men content, be it podcast, videos, documentaries, interviews, and general shows, fill your boots on redmenplus.com today.